Hey everybody, welcome to today's new lesson. We're moving forward with some slope and rate of change since we've been focusing on graphing and functions. Now we're going to take the function, we're going to take the graph, we're going to put it together, and we're going to figure out the rate of change. So the first thing you need to know is slope. Second thing you need to know is x-intercept. Third thing, y-intercept. And the last thing is called the slope triangle. I'm going to try and do this. It's tough without being able to ask you questions, so I hope you view this tomorrow and then you check it out and come see me. The last thing. This is the easiest and most important one. You should always write this on top of every paper you do. Rise over run. All right, so slope. Slope tells us about a line. It tells us if it's a positive line or a negative line. And then we determine, based on this other stuff, we can answer all their questions. So the x-intercept, where the x or where the line crosses the x-axis. So if we have a line, this is x, and this is y. And let's say this is, we go over one, two, three places, and the line comes like this. Our x-intercept, you write just like an ordered pair, you write three, you can't see that like usual, zero. It crosses, this line crosses at x is 3, y is 0. Now let's say we're doing the y-intercept. Using the same line, we count up one, two spots. Our y-intercept as an ordered pair is 0, 2. So your intercepts are just where does the line cross the x and the y-axis? That's it. And you just write it as an ordered pair. The slope triangle if we have two points, we're going to draw a triangle, and we're going to count our rise over our run. So I'm going to draw this line out here with another color. So here's my graph. Okay, and our line is going to be here and here. So we connect our line. It's not a very straight line. Make sure your line is straight. Now we're going to do a triangle. Here's our two points, and we're going to draw our triangle. You kind of see I used one here. We're going to use green, and we're going to say we're going to go up. We're going to go over. So if we rise, rise is up and down. Remember, if you go down, it's negative. Run is right to left, and if you go left, it's negative. Always start at the lowest point. So between these two points, this one's lower. We're going to rise. We are going to count up. One, two, three. I'm going to put a three. I stop because I'm even with my other dot. Now we go over. One, two. We write a two. This is your slope triangle. So now we say our slope is, what is our slope? Our slope is our rise over our run. So rise, three. Run two. Circle it. So all I want you to do is you work on rising. Write it over your running. You gotta rise before you can run. You gotta stand up before you can run. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow to answer your questions. If I can figure out how to stop this thing. <laughs>